let's talk about the features of the Simon Says website. You can log in with Google or your personal email. When you do, you will see a list of active projects or make a new project and upload via drag and drop. You can also use various cloud services. And when you're ready, transcribe. Bookmarks. You can bookmark a transcript by clicking the little yellow flag next to the transcript. Notes. You can add notes by clicking the little blue icon next to your transcript. Speaker names. Change or add a speaker name by clicking on the icon on the left of the transcript. Text editing. Your transcript is basically a text editor. You can select and change text, punctuation, add line breaks, or combine lines. Filtering. There are a couple ways to filter. Bookmarks only, notes only, or you can combine the two. Time code. On a clip-by-clip -clip basis, you can change or add a time code start, or change the time code standard. Keyboard controls. Clicking on the question mark will launch a list of keyboard shortcuts useful in Simon Says. Word search. You can search for any text within your transcript using the search feature. Controls. On the left side of your screen are controls to play, control volume, jump through bookmarks, or change the speed of playback. Waveforms. One more way to scroll through your transcript is to click on the waveform at the top of the page. Export. Simon says, has many export options. Use the one that best suits your scenario. Translation is also available through the export menu and available at an extra cost. Sharing. Members with a subscription can share with their team. Non-subscription members can share a link to their project which is read-only. Help. If you need more help or to report a concern, reach out to us on the chat icon on the lower right of your screen. Thanks, from Simon Says.